Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and also happy Christmas in July. I have a special David Steve video to share with all of you. I filmed this content back at the end of November and I had started editing it then and then the holidays and everything. It was actually a really tough year for me at the end of the year there and I just never had a chance to finish editing this video and posting it. So I decided it would be fun to do it for Christmas in July. So I'll be featuring the last box in my tea subscription from David's Tea for 2021, which is these delicious Christmas teas. So if you're ready, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea. I'm enjoying some Santa's Secret from David's Tea. This, you guys probably know, I have so many videos about Santa's Secret. It is one of my favorite Christmas teas. It's so delicious. And I made it as mini latte with some oat milk, which is very delicious. So virtual cheers and let's get started with today's video. The Tea Tasting Club from David's Tea is so much fun. I love the different seasonal boxes I received. This was my fourth one and it was all Christmas themed as you guys can see. The first one I decided to make was Merry Mistletoe because it reminded me of a tea that I love back from, I think it was 2012, I believe, which was called Merry Cranberry. And this tea really reminds me of Merry Cranberry, the scent of it and everything. I think Merry Cranberry was a fruit infusion and this one's a white tea. So that's the only difference. And I absolutely love this and ended up stocking up on it. I think if you guys saw my last David's Tea video, you'll see that I actually ended up stocking up on more of this tea because I just loved it so much and it was very nostalgic. The other item that came inside was this really sweet glass confetti bubble cup from Davis Tea and it's exclusive for the Tea Tasting Club. So this was such a surprise and one thing that I loved specifically about this year with the Tea Tasting Club in 2021 is that you got special David's Tea merchandise in each box, whether it was a spoon, summer cups, this glass. It was just so much fun and I really liked it, especially, you know, it's something a little more exclusive that you can't find in stores. So this cup was so pretty with a different glitter and floating around if you'd shake it up the glitter would kind of go throughout and it just looks so pretty. And I just love the little details on it with the tea tasting club and everything. I have this in storage right now and didn't really get a chance to use it, but I'm looking forward to using it this upcoming year. Next, we have chocolate chili chai, which is a black tea. And this one I've had before, it's very delicious. And look at the colors in here. Like it just has a lovely seasonal flair. It's great as a latte, but it also tastes really good just on its own, depending on how you like to make it. Up next, we have a delicious green tea, which is called Elf Help. And I loved this one. This was probably my second favorite besides the Mary Mistletoe. This one was fruity too, had nice sweetness, and it had a little bit of coconut notes to it. It was so good. And I love the colors in here. You got the greens, the cranberries. It's such a pretty tea to look at. You can see those beautiful green tea leaves in it as well. We also have Nordic Berry, which is another one I really enjoyed. This one was a fruit infusion. And to be honest, this, like all of these that I'm showing, like the green tea, this one, and a couple other of the more fruitier ones, they were delicious ice just as much as they were hot. So depending on where you are, I loved them all. They were so delicious. We also had caramel shortbread, which is also a fruit infusion. This smells so good. And then when you look at it, it kind of has the colors of like a caramel shortbread cookie. So this one was so beautiful. I can't remember if I made this one, if it had dairy in it. So I'll list it down below if it does contain dairy, because I know some of you guys are like me and you cannot have dairy. So I'll let you know. We also have organic, sorry, Mother's Little Helper, which is a classic David's tea one, especially if you have a cold or you just need something calming. This tea is so good. It's a really lovely herbal tea and it's so pretty to look at too. You can see the beautiful leaves in there. It's so nice. Now the last tea I have to share with you was one I was so excited because I love oolong teas. It's called Silver Bell and Silver Bells is one of my favorite Christmas songs besides Oh Holy Night. And then I discovered there is dairy in here. I was so sad. I kind of had a feeling that it might have dairy. So I wasn't able to have this one. I believe I actually still have it in my tea collection. I haven't had the opportunity to make it for anyone yet. We also had two little tea sachets in here, which you're seeing. And that's basically it for today's video. If you'd like to know more about the Tea Tasting Club or sign up, I will have a link down below in the description bar of this video. I am an affiliate for David's Tea, which means I do earn a small percentage of the sale if you decide to purchase one of the items with my links. A huge thank you if you do use these links. It really does help me out a lot. Anyway, you guys, I wish you a magical, wonderful rest of your day. Happy Christmas in July, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now and take care.